So, so, so. So today, it's a 17th or 9th flight, uh, this group flight. I'm looking forward to 100. We'll see what kind of uh, opportunity or uh, what kind of flight that will bring, uh, but it's that's still at least like a half, half year away. So we'll see if we can keep it up. Uh, today it's uh, from Santa Monica to Banning Municipal. I originally wanted to go to Palm Springs, but then I noticed that maybe this one will be a better fit for us today. It should be a VFR flight in a very complicated airspace in, in real life. I would be really afraid to fly there, to be honest. Uh, but I don't have the opportunity, so it's a moot point. Uh, as far as weather goes, so we should have uh, quite a clear skies today. Uh, aloft, there are very light winds, and uh, but destination can at destination we can experience some gusts, and I believe that we'll soon see why when we look at the map and at the terrain um, there. Otherwise, uh, nothing really interesting here. So, uh, this is the terrain. So, Banning Municipal is an airport that kind of sits in a valley, or valley, how, how do you say it? Um, there are like pass, some pass. Uh, so, we have high mountains or how high terrain uh, to the north and to the south. You can see like 11,000 feet, uh, I believe this is like 9,000 feet, and so on. And the airport elevation is a um, nice uh, number. 2,222 feet elevation, so you can see that it should also uh, look quite spectacular, hopefully, when, when arriving. Um, uh, we have no, uh, no interesting remarks uh, for us here, um, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Route planning. Uh, for that, I will actually switch here to live map. So right from the get-go, you can see that this airspace is kind of a nightmare. I have my Los Angeles um, terminal area chart um, up here, and you can see we have a Bravo airspace, very complicated. We have some Charlie airspaces to the north, uh, here, here, and there. And also we have like a zillion of uh, class delta airspaces. I tried to list all of those here that uh, that uh, we will be either flying over or very close next to or through. Uh, so um, just to give you an uh, idea, what kind of a, what kind of a mayhem that is. If I want to declutter this a little bit. I can go and uh, look at the Los Angeles fly chart that will kind of uh, uh, show me a clearer picture of uh, the airspaces mainly. So that's something that we can use. And immediately here you can notice those maroon um, arrows, which are VFR transition routes, and this uh, light turkeys um, kind of. Uh, um, arrows or um, uh, very very wide wide ones and those are flyways. The flyways are identified as the uh, kind of routes that are less likely to have a very high congestion. Uh, mainly they are designed so they can keep you out of the uh, arrivals and departures from other major airports. So that's that's good about them. And as you can see, I planned the route in a way that we would be kind of following one of these flyways. I intend to follow the flyway um, exactly, not like flying straight lines like like this. But you know, for the planning purposes, I just uh, selected some of the segments. Um, our flight starts at Santa Monica, and immediately uh, we would like to cross. Uh, this um, uh, this uh, portion of the class Bravo. You might notice that uh, there might be a better option to avoid class Bravo altogether if we just fly um, to the north, right here, right? Uh, but as you notice, the class Bravo actually starts at 2,500 feet here, so you would need to fly very low over the city. Um, 
I believe that it really doesn't matter if you are at 2,500 or 5,500 around uh, in the city because if um, the engine quits then you still have uh, roughly the same options but it's still better to be a little bit higher than, than lower. And also, if we fly to the north and avoid Class Bravo, then uh, we will rob ourselves of this uh, wonderful opportunity to ask for a transition route. Uh, in here, you can see several of the transition routes. Uh, this one, I believe, is coastal one, coastal transition route. Um, let's see. We have some insets here. We should... Where is it? Maybe it's just on the tag chart, so let me go to tag. Yep, and layers, I don't need this one. So we have, um, as I said, coastal route. We have a Hollywood Park route. That's kind of uh, the next one. Then we have a Coliseum route. That's the third one. And we also have something called Mini route, which is just to cross from Santa Monica to Hawthorne. Right, it's so just this portion of it. And the rest is kind of away from the class Bravo, and more specifically below that. So that's something that we would we would do, and um, that means that right after takeoff from Santa Monica, we would actually be just about to enter class Bravo. So we need to be quite uh, quick on the radio. Um, normally this is a towered field, so you would have a tower, you would take off. Um, uh, I found out, and we will see. Uh, uh, at the departure section, what they usually do uh, when you depart here. So we'll go through that and then they will hand you over to the LIX tower uh, where you can ask for the clearance to, to cross the uh, cross uh, these runways. Uh, if I look at the tag again, we have basically... Um, where is it? It was here. I cannot find it. We had two points that you need to be able to identify. The first one is Hawthorne and uh, 405 freeway intersection, which should be here, I believe. It here. Oh, this should be something else. This should be the uh, El Segundo refinery, I think. Yeah, uh, this is the intersection, and then on the other side there were there were some uh, numbers printed uh, or uh, put on the ground, but I cannot find out where this is right now because I could see that before. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's in oh, that yeah. inset. Is it? Yes, That's LM it. LMU. Was too... uh, yeah. So okay. so this is something that you need to be able to identify the LMU. Um, We'll see if it's if it is even in the simulator, and then this Hawthorne and 405 freeway intersection, which is here. This one actually has uh, also like is um, if you enter that into your GPS, it should uh, populate uh, as a as a nav point there. The transition route is defined as the uh, 128 radial from uh, from Santa Monica VOR, so that's another help that you can use. And um, it will basically here are the descriptions. You can you can read it. You know if if you uh, you know yourself. I will just not uh, read it for to you right now. But um, it describes what you need to do, and then you would be uh, more likely more likely crossing or most likely crossing the two for left numbers uh, on the way. So this is also something that should be quite quite nice. Uh, after we cross that, we are effectively away or out of the class Bravo and we can continue with, with our route. So, when we reach that intersection, it's time to turn left and fly along this very straight road, right, to the north of it. And we would be following that one. I believe that's the aforementioned uh, 405 freeway, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully. Uh, anyway, it's a road and we should follow it, north of it. You can see that the flyway actually copies that one. It's called Riverside Freeway. All the way to the plant, right? 
when you are uh, when you are a beam of the Disneyland, it's uh, it's uh, well, this land is actually here. Um, then, so when you see the Disneyland already, you are maybe above Fulton Municipal, or you see um, these, uh, you know, to the right. It's safe to climb from three thousand five hundred to five thousand five hundred and continue. And when you are a beam uh, Disneyland, then you can even fly to 9,900. I personally will just stay at 5,500. Uh, then we continue from the plant, again, keeping the uh, road to our right, all the way to Corona Municipal Airport. Um, and um, then we continue forward to uh, Riverside Municipal, and then further east, all the way to Banning Municipal. Now, um, there have been some concerns about how to not how not to bust this Class Bravo airspace when we are already to the south of the uh, LAX. And uh, one thing that you can do is to actually tune in the tune in the um, Paradise VOR, select the two five two radio on your on your uh, OBS selector, and then just make sure that this radial is to your left. So you will see the needle deflection to the left. It doesn't matter if you if you select the uh, radial 252 or if you select the reciprocal uh, which which is uh, 072 uh, like inbound. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Uh, in both cases the uh, needle will be deflected to the left if you are to the right of it. So that's something I will definitely do in order to help me, uh, you know, stay out of this Bravo airspace when climbing. Hmm. There is also one more thing I wanted to mention, and that is the Los Angeles Special Flight Rules area. So that's kind of a um, option to these transition routes, and. Um, it's actually uh, here because for every transition route you need an ATC clearance, right? This is the exception. So this effectively crosses the um, the class Bravo, but you don't need um, you don't need any ATC uh, contact if you remain on exactly this path and at exactly the altitude that um, that uh, you should be flying. So for us it would be 3,500 in this case. Um, it might be interesting. I don't know if you have any, if we have any controller because this doesn't load. I don't know why. Kind of broken. Uh, and it would be interesting if we had a controller and uh, we just uh, elected to forego and not make any contact with them. We would still need contact for taking off from Santa Monica, um, definitely. But uh, then we could just uh, tune them out and follow the uh, follow the transition there or uh, the uh, special flight rules area. Okay, Let's see map uh, right. like this. No. Yeah, we have a controller. Do we? Yep. Yeah, I don't know why this doesn't load, but uh, yeah, when when we connect to the simulator, uh, we'll just need to contact them anyway. So let me move forward because I'm, I've been babbling for some time. Um, unless you have any questions to the route itself and um, the special rules there. So departure. I found a I found a document. Uh, I believe it's kind of a guide or something to for Santa Monica Tower. And uh, here, this is basically what. Um, let me just use the pen here. Uh, this is what they are instructed to use um, if they can. Right. So if you uh, contact them uh, that you want to uh, depart to the south, for example, via mini route. Then uh, they can give you something like that. That after this is for runway two one, right? Uh, I forgot to mention. So for runway two one, uh, they have this instruction that you should make right two seventy turn and join the mini route at two thousand five hundred, right? So uh, 
when when you depart the runway, it's like runway two one. You do uh, like two seventy, and then you join the mini route like that. So that's uh, usually what uh, they would give you in real life. Uh, I don't know what what the controller will give us. We'll see. Um, and then they will tell you to just remain out of Bravo or until advised, and then at some point they will, I guess, uh, put you to Los Angeles Tower. And then you can, um, on the next slide, we will see how, how to get uh, the uh, Bravo clearance. Uh, please remember, all those examples of radio calls is something that what I think uh, that, um, that they would say, right? I don't know exactly what they would say. And also every VETSIM controller is a little bit different. So you just need to roll with whatever, whatever they, um, they tell you. Uh, class Bravo airspace, in this case, we would be speaking directly to tower. Uh, we will probably, if we have only one controller, um, I don't know right now, has this loaded? No. Um, then um, we would probably be already speaking to them. So I don't believe that we need to start with, uh, you know, uh, start with this and it's also quite possible that they will just assume that we want bravo uh, we want a class bravo clearance so you would need we would not need to tell them that also if you are speaking to the single controller then we will definitely don't need to say to them you know where we are and so on so after departure then we could request a transition if they um they don't give it to us um themselves uh so this is just for your reference uh if you if you want that's a one example how i imagine that it could go we'll see what happens uh en route um i'll just skip this one because it's a normal normal audience here um for uh, arrival uh notice or remember we have high terrain here and we have high terrain there so I don't know if uh, it's kind of a good thing to uh, do some standard entries and so on. Uh, the winds, if I looked, uh, if I looked properly, should be coming from the west. So uh, most likely we will use runway two six. Uh, runway two six has a right traffic pattern. So this is like a traffic pattern. And I believe that for this instance, it would be perfectly fine to just join the downwind directly, right? Uh, keeping uh, keeping uh, our um, eyes peeled for the possible, you know, traffic in the pattern and just uh, land there. Uh, remember to make, uh, um, to announce your position in time, at least uh, 10 miles from the airport. And then you just uh, follow that in. I don't think that I need to speak a little more uh, about that with you because they are the usual audience, so you all know that stuff. But I will, um, I will uh, uh, give you some time to ask me any questions that you might have. I'll, I'll just configure myself here. No questions. All right, you're yeah, all pros. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> just just a just a comment. I I uh, found out just today that the Santa Monica has a non-standard pattern altitude. It's one thousand two hundred above ground, and not a thousand. Just a comment. It hmm. surprised me. <laughs> Let's check it out. I don't know why, maybe for noise. TPAC remarks. That was... Airport remarks. Airport remarks. Actually... Uh, trying to look, find... Uh... Left, 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 left. And one line down. TPA yeah. 1370. Here we are. Engine. Yes, traffic pattern. Yep. Good, good eyes. Oh, yeah, exactly. 12, uh, 1200 feet. I oh. maybe it's because the uh, helicopters have like 90, 900 MSL something. The oh. separate rebound rate mid field. I don't know. But yeah, um, so it's a good, um, good eye there. 
one of the reasons why it's always good to actually read those remarks and find out if. Um, um, yeah. I skim them. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't read it all, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, but you found it, so good job. <laughs> Thanks. All right then. Well, in that case, um, I'll just uh, wish you happy flying, and um, hopefully we will not make uh, fools out of ourselves. Mm -hmm. One can only mm. hope, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I recommend fly, uh, filing a, VF, a VFR flight plan today, so uh, the ATC has it a little bit easier. Uh, so I'll just still, while sharing, I'll just file one. Mm. Yeah, I just filed something like mini route and flyway to Paradise URR, I think. That should give them enough of an idea. Mm -hmm. What I'm planning. Yeah, I'll just make sure how much fuel I have and then I will file the flight plan. Let's see, I still have yeah around half of the fuel, that's good enough. So Okay, GPC, we will have VFR P A twenty four light. Equipment. Let's go slant alpha today. Departure. Off block. No. Oh, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. So we have 19, 10. Altitude first to 2500, right? Uh, airspeed. 5. Drive out. PNG. Internet. No end road time. I believe it was very short flight. Flight plan. Okay, let's log in. Yeah, uh, maybe one one thing that you might not know, um, especially today, uh, you know that we have um, uh, we have some step steps right in the altitude to make. Do you know how to do that? Here. Or is it something that um, has been eluding eluding you? I think the flight plan. I think it has to. Uh, I mean, I mean, point I mean here in plan. Sky Vector, so uh, it actually oh. computes uh, your navigation. You know, log. Okay, no idea. <laughs> yeah, so you do just like slash, and um, I maybe will take a, a little bit of um, like. Um, Trial and error, but I believe if I do altitude zero uh, three five, for example, then um, it will do it like that. And if I now generate navlog, yeah, it will actually tell me that after the user fix, I have a climb there. Okay, nice. Yeah. And if I think and do it like that. Then you will see that it also fills in the because this is the speed, like this is the full kind of that you should be using. And the next one, I want to go to 5.5. Five. That's this one, and it's already good enough, right? Go it to 5.5. Five. Yes. Like that, I will generate Navlog, and now I have one climb and then the second climb. So that's that, and uh, I didn't file that right yet. Okay, so, uh, yeah, because I needed en route time. So en route time, I have about uh, let's say 40 minutes, so 0, 040, and my endurance will be let's say 0, 0145. For details, mini route. <laughs> Maybe it should go into remarks. <laughs> I just put something like uh, mini road flyway PD PDX I think maybe PDZ. And you just do it like this, and we have just the center. All right, so I imagine they will be again very busy, but uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So again, happy so, flying, guys.
Happy flying. Happy flying. Happy flying. And I believe we can we can start the engine first and let's see. Okay, fuel pressure rising, that's good. Beacon is on. And I guess uh On stroke. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention regarding weather is that at our destination we are checking lower, uh, well, higher 30s uh, as the temperature goes. So um, just uh, count with that that the performance might be really shitty. Yeah, I found a bit of a lower airspeed today. <laughs> Safety poor engine. Okay. Okay, all temperature, pressure, everything good, so just lean that. Your tank is on the left. Good. I'll actually put it to the right for now. Uh, I cannot see no fuel tanks. As I. Yes, uh, American 18 and ready to go. Uh, 2654. American 1889, wind variable 3, 26 right, full line, clear for takeoff. 26 right, full line, clear for takeoff, American 1889. Okay, uh, let's see. We have the. We don't have an 80s, so we just need to take our weather. And the most recent is uh, 2995. Uh, like so. Okay. Sierra State Lima, Charlie, welcome to San Luis Obispo. Exit right and taxi to park in on Alpha. Exit right, uh, taxi to park in on Alpha, 8 Lima, Charlie. Los Angeles Center, Oscar Kilo Golf Papa Charlie, VFR request, hello. And 2441, wind calm, runway 8, clear to land. Runway 8, clear to land, land 2441. Okay, who's calling for uh, VFR? It's Oscar Kilo Golf Papa Charlie. Oscar Kilo Golf Papa Charlie, what's your request? I'm a Piper Comanche at Santa Monica on Bravo, a transient parking, and I'm looking for a taxi for uh, departure southbound and cross the LA LAX uh, via Mini Route. Let's get clear Golf Papa Charlie. You're clear to Los Angeles Class Bravo airspace Mini Route southbound. The Santa Monica altimeter is 299.5. Call for taxi. Expect 21 for departure. I am cleared into class Bravo airspace uh, via main route southbound, uh, altimeter 299.5, and we are ready for taxi. Let's go, Golf Papa Charlie. Your squad code will be 7737. Taxi runway 21, your discretion. 7737 and taxiing to runway uh, 21, uh, Oscar Kilo Golf Papa Charlie. Right. So, before I do that, I will also tune in the 
uh, Santa Monica viewer, which is Uh, zero one 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 zero point eight, which is there, and I will configure this to two. Maryland forty seven, how many? Three departs current send call for push. We're good. One two. We're eighteen eighty nine radar contact. Stay out to. Uh, four point four climb via the radar to American eighteen eighty nine. We're in 1889, out to checks, climb unrestricted, fly level 190. Unrestricted 190, American 1889. Argentina 140, roof of taxi, upway 76, Bravo. 140, runway 25 right, taxi via Charlie, Charlie 6, Bravo. Charlie, Charlie 6, Bravo, Argentina 140. Right. So, uh, runway 21. Yeah, 564, runway 25 right, full length, taxi via Charlie 6, Bravo. Charlie 6, Bravo, full length, 564. 945, give way to the company Airbus 319, rolling uh, south on Charlie 6. You'll follow him out. Uh, these freezes are not good. I was never doing that before, so I don't know what's the problem now. Let's hope that it recovers. Like it did before. Sir, was that Charlie 6 Bravo for Information Papa, ready for Yeah, 564, that's affirmative. Charlie 6 Bravo. 564 Bravo. Who else calling? American 1147, we are ready for push and start. We'll try to reduce the. American 1147, heavy push and start approved. Face east on November 1, expect 26 right. For departure and information, come back. We'll current. face east and uh, we'll expect to right. And Quebec is current. Hello, Santa. Hello, November 36, Echo. No, 36, Echo. Los okay. Angeles, sir, go ahead. November 36, Echo. Okay, that was unreadable. Um, seem to be having issues with your uh, your connection. Try again. Mm -hmm. Three six echo. That's completely unreadable. Just carry your only. I'm not picking up your mic. Did you just get disconnected from voice server? Anyone? Uh, not disconnected, but uh, your uh, your voice was like. One seven two Sierra Papa, what's your request? Oh, okay. Uh, across the uh, Lake Plaza, Bravo. I'll try to reconnect. Maybe it's. Okay, gonna you be... want the mini ramp? Uh huh. Ah, uh, Scott two Sierra Bravo, we clear in Los Angeles class Bravo airspace, mini route northbound, maintain two thousand five hundred LA altimeter two nine nine five. Hi, Mike. Yes, sir, uh, you see, probably, yeah, I barely heard you over the hall. Mike, can you repeat it again? I don't know. Gather, can we cut to Hollywood Park Row? One side, two, Sierra. Papa, you want the Hollywood uh, Park route? Is that correct? Uh, for a minute, yeah, I just realized some of it. Stand by. I'm trying to deal with another guy right now. All right. Hello, Santa November 36 Echo, back on frequency. There's it, 6 uh, Echo, copy. All right. So. Hello, November 36 Echo, on the ground at Santa Monica with the weather. Request a VFR departure south via mini route. Three six echo. Give me a call in about two minutes. Working a few other VFR traffic at the moment. Three six echo. Roger. All right. So we are ready. Let's see. We're already cleared. So maybe One seven two Sierra Papa. Out. You're cleared into Los Angeles class Bravo airspace. 
Hollywood Park route northbound. Maintain 8,500. LA altimeter 2995. Right, clear in the Lake Las Bravo Hollywood Park uh, northbound. Maintain 8,500. I will put my map on the second monitor because. Night at 2441, welcome to Ring Taxi to sure the gate. Though. Thanks for flying. No worries, taxi to the gate. Thanks. Night at 2441. I will actually. Put it here. And if I need to uh, kind of uh, pull back to this, I will just put that. Number 367, Mike Bravo, leaving Los Angeles Class Bravo Airspace, Radar Service Terminator, frequency change proof, squawk 1200, enjoy your flight. All the way to Badger is squawking via far. Yeah, Thanks for that's it. That, uh, okay. So, if I need to turn to that, and, uh, I will be able to. Here's 1707, Los Angeles Center Squad 5324, Ident. Can you repeat the squad for Rouge 1707? Uh, uh, Rouge 1707, Squawk 5324, 5324. American 1889, climb maintain level 280. 280, American 1889. Oscar Kilo Golf of a Charlie, runway 21 at Santa Monica, ready for departure. Oscar Kilo Golf, Papa Charlie, make a right downwind departure. The wind is variable at, uh, actually the wind is 250 at Niger, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Uh, make a right downwind departure, runway 21, clear for takeoff, Oscar Kilo Golf, Papa Charlie. Route 1707, radar contact, two, three miles west of the Grand Canyon VOR. Descend, descend Rockstar 3 arrival, 26 left transition, Las Vegas uh, information, India is current. Descend Rockstar 3 arrival, expect 26 left, uh, Route 1707. American 1147, uh, action, Ontario, request, attack me. American 1147, 26 ride, taxi, you have November 1, whiskey. Yep. November 1, whiskey, and you have a station. 926 Sierra, uh, Delta Airport, 12 o'clock, 11 miles, you have it in sight? Yep, got the airport in sight. 926 Sierra, Delta, no traffic in the pattern, crater service terminator, frequency change approved. Squawk 1200, enjoy uh, your stay uh, uh, at that airport. All right, Squawk 1200, frequency change approved. See you. Later. Near 564, hold short, 25 right for uh, departure. United 564, NAV Docker, wind 2609, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. All right, 25 right, clear for takeoff, RNAV Docker, United 564. Seven November six five two nine Lima Santa Monica request VFR departure to the south. Six five two nine Lima taxi runway two one Santa Monica altimeter is two nine nine five. Taxi runway two one altimeter two nine nine five November six five two nine Lima. Santa November 36, I call on the ground, Santa Monica, with the weather, requesting a southbound VFR departure via mini road. Your 36 Echo, what's your aircraft type? On the 36, uh, aircraft type is a uh, Piper Arrow, November 36 Echo. Piper 36 Arrow, your squawk code will be 6745, taxi runway 21, expect right downwind departure. 
clock 6745, taxi Midas Crush and runway 21, and expecting right down and departure on November 36 echo. Understand 140, whim a 25 right, line up and wait. Urgent the 140, holding short runway 25 right, wait for departure. 140, runway 25 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 25 right, that's in Jaffa 25. Uh, 564, we're passing 2000. Yep, 564, better contact. Let me team 13000. 13000, 564. Alright, Southwest 55, 5386. 55, 88, Los Angeles Center, better contact 22 miles. Southeast of the Kingman BOR, descend Rockstar 3 arrival. 2 6 left transition, information India current. Rockstar 3 arrival, and we'll, uh, for 2 6 left, we'll pick up the weather for Southwest uh, 5588. Center of November 6529 Lima is holding short of uh, 2 1 Santa Monica. Do you have a squawk code for us? Uh, you were just asking to go southbound, but you didn't tell me you wanted to go through uh, Class Bravo airspace. Is that your plan? Oh, apologies. I uh, want to take the uh, mini route southbound. All right, 6529 Lima. What's your aircraft type? We're a Piper Comanche. All right, 6529 Lima. Expect a right downwind departure. Uh, we'll give you clearance into the class Bravo when you're airborne. Your spot will be 7205. All right, so we're cleared for a right downwind departure. Uh, we'll get our clearance to do a Bravo while we're in the air. Squawk cleared 7265, November 6529. Angie 29 Lima, negative 7205. Oh, I'm sorry, 7205 for number 6529. All right, 140, RNAV Docker, wind 260 at Nanger, runway 25 right, full length, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 25 right, don't have the Docker, I should have 140. United 564, climbing team is about 360. 60954. Actually, maybe it's a little bit further. So let's see what my map says. Well, I'm 47. Yeah. Not there yet. Wind is variable at 426 right, clipper ticket. Clipper ticket, I think it's a couple of points. Definitely, I'm going to send it to the ground in Santa Monica. Tap the for the requesting the airport departure to Southern Maryland. 27 Victor Delta, what's your aircraft type? Diamond G40. Uh, you broke up there. Say again? Uh, Diamond DA40. Oh, a Diamond uh, Diamond uh, DA40 cop copy. Oh, I think that it's the one in front of me. Yeah. Or, uh, it's that Vickers Delta. We'll clear in the class Bravo airspace once you're airborne. Make a plan for a right downwind departure. Your squat code 1342. Uh, RF 148, radar contact, say out to. This is the road, and I should stay to the left side of it. Now, well, actually, yeah. Blow this Tina 140 radar contact, say out to. Say again, Tina 142. No, what I'm is your altitude that you are leaving? Climb to 3,500. 4,400 feet. 140 altitude checks. Climb and maintain 13,000. Climb and maintain 13,000. Uh, 6529 Lima, radar contact. 
You're cleared in Los Angeles class Bravo airspace, mini route southbound, maintain 2500, LA altimeter 29995. Okay, we are clouded, cleared into the uh, Bravo via the uh, mini route southbound. We'll uh, climb maintain 2500, November 6529. Oscar Kilo, Golf Papa Charlie. Remain clear of the class Bravo airspace, radar service terminator, frequency change. Frequency change is approved, Squawk 1200, enjoy the flight. I will remain clear of class Bravo, frequency change approved, thank you for the service, uh, Oscar Kilo, Golf Papa Charlie. Mary 47, radar contact, say altitude leaving. Altitude leaving uh, 6000 for the force heavy. Mary 47, altitude checks, climbing, chain 13000. 13,000 American 1889, descent Angel 4, arrival, expect ILS 25 left approach, Ontario, altimeter 29996. 78 Angel 4, expect 25 left on American 1889. Center, 36 Echo, ready for departure. 36 Echo. Wind is 210 at 5, runway 21, clear for takeoff, right, uh, right down with departure. Runway 21, clear for takeoff, right, downwind departure, runway 26 echo. Route 1707, right, right turn 300, enable direct Prino, cross Prino at 8000. Prino at 8000, then uh, turn right 300, route 1707. South 5588, what's your indicated airspeed? 260, south west 5588. Uh, second. 260 Southwest, uh, 6588. Oh, 5588, slow to 230 knots for spacing. 230, So this should be Daughtry Field, uh, LA Center, Long Beach. Good afternoon, UPS 39er Mike. UPS 39er Mike, Los Angeles Center, go ahead. Information Indian Board requesting Los Angeles on level 280. I will keep on this frequency for now. Yes, through now, Max, stand by. Yeah, so Long Beach there. A little bit after that, we have uh, Los Alamitos. Probably that one. You are following when is that Victor Delta there. broke up there? Say again? Uh, 17 Delta, Santa Monica, report departure on way to one. There, 187 Victor Delta, make a right downwind departure. Wind 2105, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, off the departure, right downwind, on the way to one, from Victor Delta. 36 Echo, radar contact, say altitude. Leaving 1200, turn around 36 Echo. 36 Echo, clear it into the Los Angeles Class Bravo airspace, mini route southbound, maintain 2500 LA altimeter 29995. Clear it into the Class Bravo Maya via mini route southbound at 2500 uh, and sag on the altimeter, please. LA, LA altimeter 29995. Altimeter 29995, November 36 Echo. American 1147 maintains level 360. Uh, 140, climbing team level 240. 240, climbing team level 240. So far, Chief, did you know more for you? What's on your left Anyway, now I can climb to 5,500, so I will do so. Wind is 28010, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 57, thank you. 1456. And those ground, November 108, Lima Charlie, requesting uh, closed pattern with Zulu and taxi. Zero one zero eight uh, Lima Charlie, taxi runway two nine. Expect left downwind. Uh, 
Expect left to close traffic. San Luis Obispo altimeter, 2995. Call for taxi. Los Angeles Center, this is American 2984 uh, with you at flight level 280. Hello, Center, this is uh, American 2984 with you. 2984, Los Angeles Center, squawk 1535. 1535, uh, 2984. And, uh, American 1889, expect ILS 25 left approach. We'll expect ILS 25 left, American 1889. November. 187 Victor Delta, radar contact, say altitude. Uh, best one time. 0187 Victor Delta, you're clear into the uh, Los Angeles class Bravo airspace, mini route southbound, maintain 2500, LA altimeter 2995. Clear to the mini route southbound, temperature 299, number 1, sound like Clear 6529 or Lima, leaving Los Angeles class Bravo airspace, radar service terminator, frequency change approved, squawk 1200, enjoy the flight. Frequency change approved, squawk 1200, November 65299. LA Center, Southwest 875, checking in, flight level 310, climb 360. Los Angeles 75, Los Angeles Center Radar, contact 3 at miles southeast of the Parker VOR, maintain level 360. Climb maintain level 360, south of 875. American 2984, radar, contact 5 miles north of the Bard VOR, descend uh, lucky one arrival, the Lindbergh altimeter is 2997. He's another lucky one, Lindbergh at 2996, uh, American 2980, Paul. Interval 1466, radar contact, say altitude. We're passing 2,766. Actually, four minutes before. Interval 1466, altitude checks, climb you to SID. And this should take me to all the way to 14, so I should be there already. Climb you to SID, turn to flight 1466. This will be one of those uh, stadium and Anaheim and so on. So let's reset a timer at 8.50. Let's do a point, maybe niner. Now we will fly 7.1. Basically following um uh, Lack Center for uh, route 1707, you uh, give me a clear to Prino. Route 1707. Uh, you were cleared uh, direct to Prino, but you took the long way around. I'm going to have to resequence you now behind uh, Southwest. Turn right, 080, maintain 7000. Maintain 7000 and turn right is 070, Rouge 1707. South 5588 at Prino, cleared ILS Zulu, 2-6 left approach. At Prino, cleared ILS Zulu. From the user phase to, face to Kyo, it should take me about six minutes. It'll be one mile northwest of Blackstaff with information India. Take some photo. C six zero two, Los Angeles Center, squawk five three two six. Five three two six on the box. We have six zero two. American eighteen eighty nine at uh, Circus cleared ILS two five left approach. Circus cleared ILS two five left approach eighteen. 
Zero three six echo leaving uh, the Los Angeles class Bravo airspace radar service terminator frequency change is approved. Squawk twelve hundred. Enjoy your flight. Frequency change approved. Squawk VFR. Thanks for ATC November three six echo. See you later. November one eight seven Victor Delta leaving Los Angeles class Bravo airspace radar service terminator frequency change approved. Squawk twelve hundred. See you later. Number 172 Sierra Bravo, descend to maintain 4000. Yeah, 4000, November 172 Sierra Bravo. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 432, are you doing clearances over the frequency or on PDC? Uh, 432, uh, we're using uh, PDC at the large airports. Okay. Does Vegas count as a large airport? Oh, yeah. It's a class problem. Thanks. I'll wait for the uh, PDC sent for us to PDC sent. So, does uh, DC Bravo, do you know which weather we can expect for Venice? And I no, November 172, Sierra Bravo, so expect we'll runway no. 16 right. The airport's at 12 o'clock and uh, 8 miles port inside. Expect what's the rake says, well, geez, 16 right, and we have the airport inside. That's, oh my god, yeah. 172, Sierra Bravo, go ahead and uh, clear visual 16 right, make right traffic 16 right. Give me a call on the downwind midfield. Very so, clear individual, once we are making great traffic, one six three, uh, going on down to midfield that way. After we, after we are behind that ridge, a little bit Project further out, there should be an Project airport. Line 1466, fly maintains level 270. There should be an airport, Corona Municipal, and also there should be a Prado Dam. I imagine it can be that one. But definitely the airport is behind that, so, um, and it's in our direction of flight, the runway, and it's not that long, it's only 3,000, uh, 3,200 feet, so we might not be able to see that. Oh. But I, this is, uh, Lake Matthews, that one, and I'll just bring the map over see yourself so, like Matthews Matthews that's gonna be that one and I'm looking for Corona Municipal or Proto Dam and should be behind the ridge that uh, that we are now a beam off basically probably uh, below us and this is the Corona Municipal Airport nice so we have that one Yep, all right. And the airport to our left. Chino. And this is not an easy flight. A bit after Chino, we'll be coming up on Corona Municipal. It's that it's gonna be six minutes and something. And the next one will be five seven, so I already turned that in. It's time, so 6.14, so that's like 6.25 roughly, and now we turn 57 and 3 minutes. You should get to uh, Riverside Municipal Airport. Probably that one. Let's see. Nope. Oh, 
There it is. fly a little bit right of that or actually I want to fly left of that so turn yeah I mean keep it on my left side that's what I wanted to tell say Pretty, pretty obvious that we're heading there. After that, we'll have Mount Rebux, that one. And then another one. Let's listen for some chatter now, again. Let's see. Air passing 4,000 feet, sir. Yeah, 3 Niger Mike, out to chaff, climb unrestricted, flight level 1 Niger 0. Climb unrestricted, flight level 1 Niger 0, UPS 3 Niger Mike. Level one. Yeah, 602, expect ILS, Zulu, 26 left approach. We're basically heading there. Through 1707, descend to maintain 6,000. Proceed direct Prino. After Prino, cleared ILS Zulu, 26 left approach. The same 6000, uh, cleared direct Prino, and after Prino, uh, clear ILS 26 left approach, 7007. American 2535, LA Center. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, at gate number five, at Las Vegas. Information in India. Request I forward to LA. American 2525, pre departure clearance on the way. Thank you. RS 140, Lee Mayor Space North, radar service terminator, frequency change approved, Oakland Center offline, switch to advisory. What's up, two Sierra Papa? Taxi to parking. Thanks for flying. Taxi, all right. Taxi to parking. Yeah. Thanks for controlling. For like you're on fire. All right. We'll get here. American 1889. Wind 2609. Your runway 25 left. Clear land. 25 left. American 1889. At LA 926 here. Delta Delta Borrego heading back to Montgomery Field. Uh, like flight following. Niger 26 Sierra Delta, squawk 4720. 4720. For the Citation 0 Lima Mike, ready for taxi. Uh, San Diego with Tango. Yeah, 
Attention, zero to Lima Mike, runway 27, taxi to Hotel Charlie. 27, Hotel Charlie, zero to Lima Mike. American 2984, expect RNAV Yankee 27 approach. RNAV Yankee for the runway 27, American 2984. Mayor 26, Sierra Delta, radar contact 12 miles east of the Julian VOR. Limburg altimeter is. Two nine nine six, maintain VFR altitude. Two nine nine six, maintain VFR altitude, uh, Sierra Delta. And uh, we have a request to do the two eight uh, right RNAV. Two nine six Sierra Delta, you want the practice approach? Yep, that'd be awesome. This looks like a nice, nice area. Come by. What might that be? Yeah, there. Marino Valley. LSM Zakate, like day, November 251 Delta is 13 miles west of the ocean side BMI, 3500 feet request site following in Eagle, Montgomery. Route 251 Delta, what's your aircraft type? Now we are BE-60 Duke. Duke 251 uh, two Delta, Squawk 5150. 5150. 5150 to 51 Delta. American 1889, wind 260 Niagara, runway 25 left, clear to land. 25 left, clear to land. American 1889. Banning pause. UPS 39 or Mike, climb maintain level 280. Climb maintain level 280, UPS 390 Mike. LSN Exec Jet 376. That's an interesting level 380. Ground feature. And then remember, zero the mic, uh, Hoshore and 827. Sedja 376, when, uh, radar contact 28 miles southwest, Bryce Canyon, VOR, descend chow 2 arrival, 1 Niger right transition, Las Vegas altimeter 2 Niger Niger 8, India current. Out to arrival, 1 Niger right transition, and we'll get uh, India, Jet 376. Citation zero Lima Mike. Wind is two eight zero at one zero. Runway two seven clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on two seven zero Lima Mike. LA Center South six seventy five. Duke two five one Delta radar contact seven miles west of the Oceanside VOR. Palomar altimeter 2995, maintain VFR altitude. 2995, maintain VFR 2500. No, let's check the weather. Niger 26 and Sierra the closest Delta. One, if it's this one, Palm Springs. So, need to climb uh, to 9000 before I can give you vectors or uh, continue that your present heading and I'll uh, give you a turn. One. Actually, just continue present heading for now. I will give you a turn. Direct uh, Bakel uh, when you get uh, into lower uh, terrain. Uh, copy that. You want me to still climb up to 9,000? No, just go ahead and stay at your current altitude and, or, you know, just uh, maintain visual separation from the terrain for me. And I'll give you uh, vectors once you get into lower uh, terrain. That sounds good for a nice six year Center American 1518 and flight level 350 for flight level 360 entering your airspeed. Banning traffic, Oscar Kilogol of Papachari, Piper Comanche about 15 miles to the west at 5,500 feet and we'll be doing a right downwind entry into the pattern for runway 26. Banning.
So I'll just go ahead and let's start our descent. Because I guess the airport must be someplace there. Yeah, so the, the road turns left, yes, and then the airport is on the south side of it. Probably all the way there someplace, so... It's an interesting choice for an airport in the pass. We're not descending, so let's reduce that power still a little bit more. We have more fuel in the left tank, so we'll keep that one. I'll turn on the fuel pump. Well, we're gonna descend to like uh, maybe 3200 for the pattern, so not that much quite yet. Beautiful here though. that back. I have it normally uh, above these values by configuration file but let's do at least this one. Why is this there. If this cursor should disappear, right? Yes. I believe I s might see the airport right there. Yeah, it's really not made for a standard entry. <laughs> There's still interesting features here. RPM a bit. Help us descend. Put full uh, mixture already. Landing lights on. Banning traffic, Oscar Kilogol of Papa Charlie, um, joining uh, left, uh, sorry, uh, correction, right downwind runway 26, and currently I am uh, at 3600 feet and descending. Banning. Uh, this is not something you want to usually do descent into the downwind. I really didn't have an option there. Let's actually keep it like this. Let's slow down. Drop the gear. Quite high. Let's drop the first flaps and start gentle descent. Like so.
banning traffic as Kirkilogluf of a charity turning right base runway 26 full stop banning. Let's lose some altitude. Banning traffic, Comanche 6529 Lima is about 10 miles to the west, 4,000 feet. We'll be inbound making a right downwind for runway 26 banning. Banning traffic, Oscar Kilogolf for Charlie, uh, final runway 26, full stop. Banning. Here is down. It's quite a temperature there. Banning traffic, Oscar Kilogolf of Charlie, runway 26 is vacated and axing to parking. Banning. So we'll just park somewhere. Next to the Cessna there. Oh, there are no parking spaces there, so let's keep moving. Took 39 minutes, so 40 almost.
banning traffic. I'm at 26529 Lena is right downwind, runway 26 banning. Don't see him. Yeah, but he should be there. All right, so let's turn it all off. I must say, I'm not entirely proud of myself. Uh, I was quite overwhelmed buying that there, but um, managed not to get lost in the end. I believe that the flight path roughly resembles what I planned. Yeah, so this is 405 and Hawthorne. Yeah, so that's the there across that one yeah so uh, i was very glad for for the atc definitely and um i hope that despite uh despite a little bit of like problems from from my side regarding um maybe a little bit of confusion there uh, that you enjoyed the flight And I can see, yeah, sorry, I'm not uh, really following chat while I'm uh, streaming there. So if you're still here, Lunarscape, uh, I did take off from Santa Monica. So right after takeoff, we needed to, um, we needed to, well, we actually today, we got a clearance already on the ground and sent Santa Monica. So that was, that was one hurdle uh, gone, uh, the ATC. Normally we would get that clearance probably in, in the air. So thank you very much for being there and uh, watching. I hope yeah, uh, that you liked the flight again. I believe the scenery was quite awesome. Uh, the airport looks also nice. And next time, I believe uh, we will do some, probably some flight maybe in this area to the uh, to the southeast, likely uh, over Salton Sea, and then uh, double back via uh, San Diego, and then again via Los Angeles. So that's my plan for now. We'll see how that goes. Stay flying. Bye bye.